Well, this is the third in my series of renditions in regard to trying to educate people in regard to tire recycling systems. It's not as easy as it looks. This series discusses how you take a 12 millimeter granule, which is about the size of your thumb nail, and turning it into a crumb, which in many ways requires multiple steps and multiple cutting. The first step in taking a 12 millimeter or half inch granule is to take it in a granulator type of design, which is very much like a rasper, but has a finer and sharper braid because you're dealing with a rubber product now that is, quote, wire free. So you don't have to worry about dulling a very sharp edge like a razor blade. If you take the granular type of machine, the first step is to take the half inch rubber granule into a 5 to 10 mesh stage. That is the mechanical limits, typically speaking, of a granular or granulator type of design. Anyone that promises you that otherwise is crazy because it just can't be done. Those machines typically take a thumbnail size product, 12 millimeter to half inch in size, down to 5 to 10 mesh in a relatively decent capacity, one machine doing around 1,000 to 2,000 pounds an hour. But you've got to understand something that's important. Now you're doing a phenomenal amount of cutting. And the example that I use for most people is if you take a one inch chip and cut it into 10 mesh, which is basically one inches in length, 10 slices, 10 slices in the next direction, and 10 slices in the third direction because you're dealing with a three dimensional object. It's 10 times 10, which is 100, times 10, which is 1,000. So by taking a one inch chip down to 10 mesh, you're cutting it 1,000 times. Multiply 40 times 40 times 40, and I think it's 64,000 cuts to make 40 mesh. There is a big difference in the amount of retention time, the amount of machines that are needed to produce 10 mesh, 20 mesh, 40 mesh, 80 mesh, 60 mesh, 100 mesh. So understand that when you get into fine grinding in the crumb stage of rough crumb or rough mesh, versus fine crumb, versus ultra-fine crumb. You're dealing with not only a lot of cutting, but heat generation, heat dissipation, which is done with chilling systems, cooling systems, water and air systems. Now you're getting into some big leap territory. And it's not as easy one as everyone makes it sound. Like, oh, you want to make 10 mesh? No problem. No problem, my ass. It takes a lot of machinery, a lot of cooling, and a lot of horsepower. So that's kind of my first start in production of mesh or crumb from a half inch wire free granule into a 5 to 10 mesh system. Typically speaking you're looking at about hundred thousand dollars per one to one thousand to two thousand pounds of production. So you got to do a multiplication there and then you have to have multiple machines just as backups because you're going to always be maintaining them keeping their blades sharp, making sure that they're not overheating, properly cooling them. Most of these machines from the rasper on down are water cooled with jackets or introduction of water into the system. So it's not as easy as sounds. And then you also get into a problem where you've got to make sure you've got fluff removal, fine removal, dust removal, because now you're getting into potential problems of explosion. That is what you really get into that's more critical than anything else is when you're dealing with anything from around the 10 mesh minus, in particular 20, 30, 40 on down, you're dealing with explosion hazards and you've got to be very careful with that. You're dealing with cooling hazards and problems, separation problems, screening problems, so it's not as easy as it sounds. Again. We welcome your opportunity. Send us an email at sales at shredderhotline.com or visit us at our dedicated website for tire recycling at titan, T-I-T-A-N, shredder.com. All one word, titanshredder.com. Give us an email. 
call us, go to shredderhotline.com or globalrecyclingequipment.com. Thank you very much.